This morning, Pope Francis is in the African nation of South Sudan on a trip that also took him to the Democratic Republic of Congo. The pontiff has been hearing stories of suffering from people caught up in years of warfare. And before the trip, he discussed a more progressive view of sexual orientation that puts him in opposition to some of his own bishops and much of African law. Chris Livesay has more. More than a million people gathered to see Pope Francis speak in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo, one of the poorest and most war-torn countries on earth. It's enormous, passionate crowds like these that illustrate just how much power the Pope wields in much of Africa. And if any one person could influence change, it's him. An estimated 10 million people have died in the last three decades due to armed conflict, much of it over the country's vast mineral wealth that has not trickled down to most people here. Meeting with survivors, Pope Francis said he was left speechless. A 16-year-old boy told of seeing his father murdered, his head tossed in a basket. A 17-year-old girl recounted how she was kidnapped and raped repeatedly for nearly two years until she escaped and gave birth to twins. At the foot of a cross, mutilated survivors laid down symbols of their suffering. Your tears are my tears, said the pontiff. Your pain is my pain. Others feeling pain, the LGBT community, says activist and radio host Skali Kepna. In some area, LGBTIQ people can be, uh, can, can have a violence, physical violence. He says a trans woman was attacked earlier this week by the police. Ahead of his Africa trip, the pontiff made headlines when he said it's not a crime to be gay. Ser homosexual no es un delito. No es un delito. But in much of Africa, it is, like the Pope's next stop, South Sudan. Here, LGBT people can be thrown in prison, with some of Francis's own bishops supporting the penalties. Francis said such laws are unjust, adding the Catholic Church must work to put an end to them. Now that he's set foot in South Sudan, the question is just how hard Francis is willing to push in a church and a continent where change has not come easy. For CBS Saturday Morning, Chris Livesay, Juba, South Sudan.